Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. So far, we've been looking at how do we take individual GIS processes to go from our input layers to our final product. And we link this series of processes into what we call a GIS workflow. And let's highlight in our workflow the processes and the output layers. What we've taken are the individual GIS processes with the inputs and outputs required for each, linking them together in sequence to form our workflow, which looks like a flowchart. We can further take our workflow and group similar processes together. For example, we may have a pre-processing step. And in the pre-processing step, we're taking our input layers and either filling voids or projecting them into the correct coordinate system. Then we may actually have the actual process of delineating our watershed in this example. And we may call this the watershed delineation process, which takes our fill, our filled elevation, goes through the accumulation and flow direction, takes our port points, which has been projected, and creates our delineated watershed output. We also had an extra step here, which was clipping rasters. So we could group these together and call this raster clipping. And then this last group we could call our post-processing or our calculating areas, where we take our raster version of our watershed, convert it to a polygon, add a field, and calculate the geometry. Now we've really taken a full process and broken it down into pre-processing, our main process, an extra clipping process, which may also be a part of this post-processing, and the actual post-processing, which was calculating area in a second way. Why go through this this work of defining all of the inputs and outputs and then breaking it down into groups. What if you had to delineate all of the watersheds in the state of Virginia, or all of the watersheds east of the Mississippi, or all of the watersheds for the United States, or we know all of the watersheds for the entire North America? The idea here is to build an automation process or an automation workflow. This is the workflow for outlining or for delineating a single watershed. The process becomes much more cumbersome with clicking individual buttons and managing output layers. A lot of this is based on these two inputs. Some of it is based on the inputs that go into the snapper point, such as the search radius. But if a lot of the pre-work goes into these definitions, and these data sets, you can set a reasonable expectation here such that it will work on all of your watersheds. So we define ourselves this automated process called the workflow that we can then just give different inputs and then with one click get a watershed output or get a watershed output with calculated areas. So again, the whole idea behind automation and modeling is to have a reproducible workflow for producing results that require multiple steps to get us there. So now that we have defined out our flow chart, how can we represent this in GIS? And we can do this in two ways. First way we're going to look at is using Model Builder, which is a graphical representation of this flowchart in the GIS software. 
And the second way we can represent this is through a scripted process using programming and code. So let's take a look at the first one together. 